hello my beautiful scorpios welcome to my channel this is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today i'm gonna do a coffee cup reading uh, about the gifts of 2024 we're gonna check to see what are the gifts coming through this year for you i'm gonna have a separate 2024 reading this is all about the positive things coming okay also i'm offering private readings if you would like to book one from me you can go ahead and check the description box and i'm gonna put a link up here you can click on that one and just We'll order your reading from there, okay? Before I jump in, I see a silhouette of a person. This reminds me of those, uh, the Roman monies. They have the face of like the Caesars and stuff. This can be someone coming through as a leader. Or uh, like this can be considered as a good news. But this seems like it has some time within the maybe 10th month or so. Outside though, this is your card space, your family, whatever is happening here. This is outside of it. This is going to be something um, coming like an outside news. It's not going to be related to what you're currently doing. Okay, let's see. I see there's a path opening and there's a tree planting. I don't know if you're plan planning to buy a place from another country. There's a person who's actually standing in there. This can even be a fire happening. Maybe somewhere hap like a person needs your help. is going to be reaching out to you very soon. You might have to go back and forth with that them for, with this person. Maybe go travel and help them out. Maybe they're going to be coming to help you out. I see one, two, three, four. This reminds me the musicians of bremen i don't know there's actually this uh, german um tale actually there's this animals they climb on their on their each other's back and um in order to do some things and i don't remember it was back in the day but it's just i used to read that um uh, story but this can be something related to maybe germany i don't know if you have any relationships with that or can be um like something that is they were mu musicians they were actually singing and stuff so can be music related or even like some artistic talent related maybe you're forming a partnership with people and traveling this can be like reforming a band uh, related to that as well <clears throat> i see there's a path opening very soon in the beginning of the year you're going to be traveling which is a great news it's going to be good news i see an older lady that you're connecting with there's a man here they might have some sort of like a negative thing happening in between them, but I feel like the air is cleaning out. The, there is going to be solution coming in. They're both standing on this chunk of money. This can be money related. This person, male figure, looks like they have some people connected to them. So he might be trying to actually feed them or take care of them. That's why he's maybe being a little harsh on this person. Uh, this can be you or this can be the other lady can be your energy as well. Maybe like you're feeling... Like uh, this person is actually not treating you well. They're going to be going on their own path. The energy, the, the air will be clearing. Okay. I see this looks like a Roman philosopher to me. Like wearing this their clothing uh, on their back. And actually standing here with um, confidence. They have a little dinosaur in front of them. This uh, can be a person that is going to show up in your life. With this uh, energy of lightness. Which reminds me of like Eckhart Tolle. He's kind of like a new age philosopher now, like all about like law attraction and creation and uh, living in the moment. Like the power of now is one of his books. It just he came to my mind now. The dinosaur that's carrying this person is actually growing something, growing in the sense of like a mass, which will bring massive wealth. But at the same time, the growing something doesn't mean this person is doing it consciously. Uh, this can be your energy, maybe like your spiritual powers, your efforts that you're putting into. This doesn't have to be only the spiritual things. Whatever that you're working on will actually grow this nest egg for you this year. And within the fifth month or so, you're going to start to grow this. I see someone with a long nose. They're not seeming very happy uh, about this situation, but they don't have a negative energy. So this can be someone that you're going to be helping along the way. When you do help this person, they are actually throwing you into this crowd, meaning in the sense that they probably have these big connections and these big connections are actually going to in, like take you in and maybe they're going to give you the support that you need at the same time. I see here the sun is shining. This looks like a burst also, like a, a fire. Something is bursting here. Somebody's actually gathering this energy. So 
this energy like money is an energy okay when i see something like this i feel like you might be actually creating multiple sources of income multiple sources of um you know love coming through to you and uh, you're gathering all of this with your energy i see mother here actually talking to an elephant again elephant indicates slow growing wealth so whatever the f like the energy that you put in you're going to take it back you're going to be ringing and growing it back towards the end of the year there's a leo a line showing this can be a leo in your life that is appearing or reappearing but this looks like a baby a cub so can be something like a, the energy of sun the energy of fire that you're going to be starting something new and stepping into a new energy field new um, environment this crowd surrounding you maybe you're going to be actually very popular uh, in the new environment that you're stepping in you're going to be very loved and appreciated and you're going to carry all this leo energy in that space okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire and intention hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for that definitely a new horizon here showing up this also reminded me in some other reading i saw this as well those like disney movie the things are actually like there's a castle disney castle is surrounded by light and there's a chunk of money this is like a solid chunk uh, coming through and i see here there is actually this is this looks like a dragon one and also another like here dragons like i said you're gonna be growing some like a source of fire source of energy and also source of probably money i see a number eight this also looks like the, the symbol of eternity and uh, i think the magician card magician has this symbol above his head so this is actually telling me you're going to be given a tool or you're going to actually create a tool for yourself this tool can be come in the format of education a class that you're going to take maybe new skill set that you're going to be learning and a new practice that you're going to be starting to do uh, which will actually multiply the wealth that you have or maybe you're going to grow start attracting and growing this wealth because having it just attracting it is not merely enough because you need to actually learn how to uh, love it grow it and appreciate it and actually uh, have fun with it so you're going to have all these opportunities coming through this year okay i see here somebody uh, actually looking like very nurturing they're uh caring for your affairs this can be someone in like a new person that you're going to be working with or someone in your family they're going to be giving you a hand in the things that you do okay when i said the family what well, came to my mind people usually they start with smallest ideas today and they start working with their family and build the smallest ideas and they grow like some huge businesses with that so if you have that kind of an idea the spirit is actually going to be supporting you with like the family members if you're planning to build something with your family members the spirit actually is going to be supporting you this year we have here the knight of pentacles this can be new love offer coming through or someone like a can be a taurus virgo or a capricorn or an earth sign or can be the opportunity of wealth coming through okay a new partnership a new offer however the earth signs are slow to act so this person might show up later uh the the, the year we have here the strength the leo energy i told you we ha you have the leo energy so and we have here the symbol of eternity as well so a uh, magician like i said he has the authority to create anything he wants here with the strength what you have is uh, you have the power to um, maybe just make people do anything you want and create the things you want as well. The strength is telling you like she's being brave here, putting her hand inside the mouth of this, uh, this lion. So you can tame this lion. You can make it happen. And this optimism of the Leo energy will actually going to be covering all over your year we also have here the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune okay. indicates all the things that you're desiring love money education friendship family and satisfaction travel all these goodness actually going to be coming into your life and um it's going to be whatever that you put your hands in is actually going to be working out for you we also have here the snake energy snake represents kundalini energy awakening and seeing things in a clear way also because it's in the symbol of the medicine i also interpret it in the health matters so if you're having like any health things it might also uh you know come to resolution i have here 
two of them wanted to come out. We have the polar where it says nurture. Allow in any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Bears usually indicate authority, power, and strength. And polar bear, because they're on the water, they indicate like emotional strength, okay? So if you're having any anxieties like this says here, you're going to be granted with the emotional strength throughout this year. And we have the monkey, it says inner child, and it says don't take life so seriously. So when you are actually enjoying yourself, having fun, it's going to be easier to create the universe to hand you over the God universe, the creative source, the energy to give you to the things uh, faster. It's going to be easier for it to give it to you because you're going to be able to see it, appreciate it and um, feel gratitude for it. Okay. When you feel gratitude, what happens is you multiply them faster. There's actually a saying that uh, the Louis Hay, uh, there's this conversation she has and she says, um, what if I bake you a cake and bring it to you, a cake or a meal or something like that, she says. Uh, and bring it to you and you said oh this is terrible i don't like it what would i do i would never bring you anything again but what if you tell me like you tell me that you loved it it's beautiful it's delicious and i would just keep like, i would have the uh, urge to make it and bring it to you again that's how the universe work universe works as well that's how she gives it an example okay so when you're enjoying your life being grateful and um don't take life too seriously the things are actually going to be flowing into your life faster okay all right my beauties that's all for today i hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye